Welcome back, everyone. Frank DeMore here with the End Times Research Ministry and also BibleProphecyMan.com. You go over there, and there's two sites there that I connect the dots between Bible prophecy and current events. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Temple News. What I mean by that, if you don't understand prophecy, you might not even know that in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, we see prophecies about a third temple being built in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount. And in many of my warnings, I have warned the people who've been coming over to my either both sites, websites, or my YouTube channel, that in the future you will see, without a question, I believe in my heart that the Israelis will be attacked and one of the reasons why they will be attacked is over ownership of the Temple Mount area of which this third temple will be built by the Jews, just like Jesus referenced to in Matthew chapter 24 as he points to the prophecy in Daniel chapter 9, where the Antichrist will come and he will walk into this temple when it's built and he's going to tell everybody that he's God. And when you go over to my prophecy site, you will see that I have a documentary issuing the warnings that gives you all the details about the building of the Third Temple, which I believe were very close. Now, as I said, the Temple Mount area, I believe Israel will be tacked over, and I believe that one of the prophecies that haven't been fulfilled yet is the Psalm 83 war, which I believe will probably be one of the reasons why Israel is attacked over that ownership. Now there's news in the news today that again points that my warnings are really should be taken seriously because what I've been warning based on what I know from the Bible it's happening which I will show you today. Now this particular post that you're looking at was December 18th of 2019 and in this post I talk about Zechariah which is a prophet in the Old Testament. Let me scroll down and I give you information about Jesus. You'll see this temple. This is what it's going to look like. In the reference to Jesus in chapter 24 of the book of Matthew, you see there verse 15. And this is where Jesus points to what Daniel said. This temple will definitely be built. Now as we scroll down in that December 18th, this is what I said. In order to understand the importance of both the 2017 and in this new December 17, 2019 news reports, let us first look at Zechariah 12, starting in verse 2. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people around about, when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. Now, one of the warnings in from Zechariah that I point out, this is what I stated in that warning, because I'm referencing what the prophet said. The Zechariah prophecy warns us everyone will be coming against Israel in the last days. The ownership of Jerusalem and, now look at this, the Temple Mount is pushing nations one by one to come against the Jews. So since we have a warning by Zechariah that I'm using that warning, I'm pushing that warning out to you now because I can see the current events and I know that this prophecy is very, very close to be completely fulfilled. The Psalm 83 war hasn't been fulfilled yet. And you'll see the photo here that I presented to you that gives the names of the nations who the prophet tells us that are going to attack Israel in the last days. Since the war hasn't happened, when you take a look at all these nations, they are the nations that border Israel. So, who are they? Well, obviously, they're Muslims. What is the main focus right now in Israel that is a burdensome stone for all the nations, including all the failed peace talks, been because of ownership of the Temple Mount? So we have a listing of all of these nations that come together as a confederate. So if you read the prophecy... You'll read all the details about it as all these nations come together and try to take out Israel. And I believe that it will be the Temple Mount issue that will be one of the major causes for the attack. Now those who have been coming to my YouTube channel, and they're growing each day, which I'm blessed to see, 
they know that I've been warning constantly about the activity of the Temple Mount and what's going on. And since we're talking about this prophecy about this Temple Mount area and how much tensions are arising on the Temple Mount area, look at now as I connect the dots between what Zechariah has to say with the Psalm 83 war tells us about that. And you put them together and when you watch the news, you can see that it's coming together. Look at the headline, Palestinian prayer rally at Temple Mount into violent riot. Now, in many of my videos, I'm even showing you these past riots that have occurred because Jews wanted to pray on the Temple Mount. And as Jesus tells us that the Jews are going to build the Temple, well, what does that tell you? It tells us that the Jews will someday soon go up to that Temple Mount area and be able not only to pray, but do the sacrifices and the worships in the Temple as they used to do when Jesus Christ was here. Many of you who may not know the significance of the Temple Mount, but that's right here as you see the Dome of the Rock, which is one of the most holy sites for the Muslims. And this is an article, just a picture that they put up, but look what it says here. Hamas called for mass prayer rallies on Friday at the al Ask Mosque on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, but the Islamic prayers quickly deteriorated into violent riots. Just like I've been warning, get ready, more riots are going to be happening over the Temple Mount area because this is a pinnacle point and it will cause much violence, unfortunately, as we see already taking place. And that's why I believe Jesus said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, because Jerusalem is not going to have any peace until Jesus Christ comes and takes his ownership and starts his kingdom on this earth in Jerusalem. Approximately 8,000 Palestinians answered the call of Hamas prayer rally, but immediately upon finishing their prayers, several hundred began rioting. Israeli police were called to deal with the violence using non-lethal crowd control measures. Now, another article, January the 20th of 2020, via the JNS, the Jewish News Syndicate. Look at the headline. We will soon establish the caliphate, liberate Jerusalem, and conquer Rome. So what we have here is some religious figures who have been making announcements and calling for the destruction of the nation of Israel. And this is, again, one of those many, many signs showing us that the prophecies of the Old and the New Testament are going to be fulfilled soon. Now, let me just go down here. I'll make this a little bit bigger for you so that you can see very easily what they're stating. Rome will be conquered by Islam in the near future. Palestinian preacher Mikhail Sian told an enthusiastic crowd last week at an event in Jerusalem, al Ask Mosque, marking the anniversary of the 1453 CE capture of Constantinople by the Ottoman Empire. In a video uploaded to the internet on January the 17th, Salam can be seen telling a crowd that three prophecies will soon be fulfilled and expressing his hope that his audience will be the ones to fulfill them. When you scroll down, it says the crowd chanted, this al Ask Mas will be liberated. The caliphate was promised by Allah by means of caliphate and consolidation of prayer. Your request, O Rome, is a matter of certainty, Allah Akbar. Now I'm going to play the video for you of what this religious figure is calling for on Israel so that you can hear and read it for yourself. The same things that he's discussing in this call to arms against Israel is the same thing that the prophets are warning about. Watch this video and I'll come back and give you a little bit more detail. <laughs> الرشيدة على منهاج النبوة والثانية 
تحرير المسجد الاقصى واتخاذ بيت المقدس عاصمة لدولة الخلافة وثالثها ان يلقي الاسلام بجيرانه في الارض فيبلغ مشارقها ومغاربها All right, so now that you watch this video, check this out. Breaking Israel news. This came out January. Look at this. January the January the 19th, 2020. Thousands of Muslims scream battle cry on Temple Mount. So the people who have been coming to my YouTube channel have heard over and over again that I have given this issue, this warning, that watch what happens in East Jerusalem, specifically because that's where the Temple Mount is. And if I'm warning that an attack is coming, and you see that I'm referencing the prophecies warning about this coming assault against Israel, I'm hoping that it would encourage you to keep on the watch with me as we watch the prophecies unfold. My warnings about more riots taking place on the Temple Mount, did they come to pass? Well, they have to. And the reason why they have to is because I know what the prophets say. Take a look at this picture here. Mass Palestinians hold stones as they gesture during clashes with the Israeli police on the Temple Mount. On Friday, breaking news reported on a Hamas prayer rally that quickly evolved into a violent riot. Approximately 8,000 Muslim Arabs descended upon the Temple Mount and the Tomb of the Patriarchs. Something else that happened that was largely unreported was that during the incident, thousands of those participating in the riot chanted slogans threatening a holy... Now, they have... Look at this. They have was, but it's a misspelling. He was going to say war. With Israel yelling, Jews, the army of al Aska Mosque is returning. So by reading the rest of the sentence, we know that what he meant to say, and I did write them and tell them about the mistake, but they meant to say war. Goes on, they also chanted martyrs, implying a bloody war to, look at this, retake the Temple Mount, screaming with spirit, with blood, we will free Alask. And of course, where is that? Right there in the Temple Mount, exactly where this third temple is prophesied to be built. Now, one thing that I want to help you with in case you want to know more and follow with me about this temple area and how we're looking to see this temple being built. Now, one of the things I didn't say in this video is when this temple is built, that will warn everyone who knows about these prophecies that the Antichrist is already here and he's about to take his reign of power as prophesied by Jesus. And so what I'm going to do is show you how you can get to see all of the videos that I did to help you see where we are coming from and where we are right now. So you can go and see all these videos in one place if you want to. This is how you do that. When you're at my End Times Research Ministry site, you'll see Israel and Third Temple. Click that. And scroll down you'll see all the, the scriptures right here scroll down a little bit more and you will see this area right here okay go to the right hand corner you'll see playlist Israel okay when you come down here you'll see playlist third temple click that link and you'll see all of the videos that I have posted about news, about the Antichrist, about building this third temple, you'll find it right there. And it'll just click the link and it'll come up for you. So if you're at my BibleProphecyMan.com site, what I've done, I put up my documentary. If you scroll down here, you'll see that documentary right there. And when you click that, it's an hour and 45 minutes long. And it's a comprehensive information detailed facts and evidence showing you that this temple is going to be built soon. And some of the things that the Israelis are doing in preparation to building this temple. So what I started to do here is to put on some of the videos that I made recent news 
right there so you can just go over to that site to that date scroll down and you'll have videos there as well as other information there too but this is how you can get up-to-date news of where we stand with the building of this third temple now you also can get my book today for free by going over to my website you click the link down here and that book the last chronicles of planet earth will come up it's a documentary on bible prophecy and current events loaded with factual evidence showing bible prophecy is being fulfilled but for the purposes of this post this video today it's more warnings about watching the temple mount area because very specific information in the psalms and with zechariah tells us that's going to happen in the last days. Israel is established as a nation, and the biggest problem from all the nations right now is Jerusalem. And it is hindered at just about every peace process that started since Jimmy Carter was president, up until now with Donald Trump. It's always focused on Jerusalem, just like Zechariah told us it would be. Now you saw from this video today how they're calling for the Muslims to conquer Jerusalem, to conquer the Temple Mount area. And in my heart, I know that this is a major conflict for the Muslims. And it, obviously, it's been a major problem for the Jewish people as well, because they know that this area and the Temple Mount is their area. They captured it in 1967 during that war. And it's always been the Israelis' holy site as far as the Jews can remember from the first and the second temple that were destroyed. This is a holy site. And God has warned us about this site and what's going to happen. Now, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's so important that this is going to be a major, major area to keep focused on. Is the Antichrist close? You better believe it. And people don't know how close he is. So again, this is what to look for. Watch more news about the Temple Mount area. Watch more news about East Jerusalem and specifically the Temple Mount area. And watch the news about Jews being able to go up and pray on the Temple Mount area where they've had problems to do that in the past years. And things are changing and just like the prophets tell us, that temple will be built. And I believe it's going to happen soon. Now, if it happens because of a war where these Muslims try to take out Israel and the Temple Mount area or to confiscate it again, that just might be the fulfillment of Psalm 83, which means that if they are attacked, the Jews are attacked, and they conquer the enemies like they have done in the past in every single war, then they would completely expand their area into other countries, the bordering nations that the prophet tells us about, and they would have free access to do anything on the Temple Mount that they want because they expanded the area and now they think they're living in peace and safety like Ezekiel the prophet tells us before the next war takes place. So there's a lot to consider when you're reading prophecies and following the current events. Please, subscribe to my YouTube channel. My goal is to lead as many people as the Lord will allow me to lead into His doors to reign with Him in that kingdom, in heaven. This is not a joke. This is not something to take lightly. Christ has commissioned me as one of the watchers in the last days, to sound the signal that he's coming soon. If you want to see how the Lord miraculously brought me into this ministry, go to January 16, 2020, and you'll see the interview that I just did. It's a three-part interview of not only how the Lord brought me into the ministry, but the signs and the wonders that he created for me to be able to lead other people to Jesus Christ. And I think you'll find it very interesting. Now, what I did is only place some of the things that Jesus did. And what I plan to do, because I've been asked now 
by the comments, people would like to know other things that I didn't share with, and I will share those things that the Lord did. And one of the things that I tell people is, it's been great because I have witnesses that were with me when they saw these things that God was doing take place. So please go over to the website, click the link, and listen to the story how the Lord provided and brought me into this ministry and led me down the line all the way to the present time in January the 20th of 2020. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and let us watch together. I don't ask anything from anyone. I never will and I never have. This is a free ministry. You can get that book for free. Everything I do is for free. Jesus gave for free. Frank DeMora is following Jesus. You'll get it for free. God bless.